Hi guys, welcome back to us up here at the storage yard today. Now today I'm going to talk about the recent upgrade I performed on our Audi heating control panel. Um, it's a fantastic panel, very usable, and for the first time I'm able to set the date and time and understand it and see what the uh, thing's actually doing. But rather annoyingly, that when I turn the power off to the heating, the uh, control panel loses its date and time and some of the settings which I've stored into it. Now it's a bit of an issue really because I don't want to be resetting and restoring some of the details I've put into it like the temperature I want during the night time, like what time to come on during the day etc etc etc. It's a bit of a faff but thankfully there is a solution in place and we can either purchase a battery backup system direct from Audi or we can make one ourselves and I've gone down the route of making one ourselves because just for a couple of pounds you can get the job done straight away. I've just stopped the video there, I'm just editing it as we speak. Um, I've just done some research to find out how much these battery boxes actually sell for. And they're on eBay at the moment for £16. And in fact, if you want the official spare, it's £16.99. Which I think is r r quite a lot of money. So I've had a chat with a friend of mine who I've worked with in the past. Uh, we've created some kits together and we've worked a lot together in uh, a previous life. And I've asked him how much he would charge to actually make one of these uh, boxes up. And he's come back and he said he would charge about £6.99 uh, for one of these uh, battery boxes. So if you're interested and you don't want to make one yourself, link is in the description below. Contact Dennis on the contact form at Kanga Products. Put in the subject title Caravan Spare and he'll get back to you and let you know when you can have one. He's just literally uh, building up stock of these items right now and hopefully he'll be able to sell them on. But if you want to know how to make one, well, carry on watching and uh, I'll show you exactly all the bits you need in order to make one of these battery boxes. Well, this is it. This is all we actually need to produce a backup battery for use inside the Alder central heating panel. So what I have here is I've just got a couple of AA batteries, a battery holder, and a Molex connector on some cable. Now a link to all of these products are listed down below. You can buy these off of eBay. They may not come in those color arrangements. They may be different. They may be blue, black, white and blue, yellow and purple, whatever. The point is you'll have two different colors and it's important to know that in a few moments time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the cable onto this battery connection box here. But if you don't have the ability to solder anything up, don't worry, you can use something like this, terminal strip. And what we can do is we can just attach the terminal strip onto the uh, battery compartment here, screw it down and insert our cable in here as well. And that makes for a very neat and tidy job. I'm going down the solder route though, because I like a good firm electrical and mechanical connection. Now additionally, I'm also going to use some number plate adhesive tape like this. I'm going to be able to put this on the bottom of our battery compartment, glue it down, and uh, that will hold the battery compartment in place nice and tidy to stop it banging around when the caravan is in transit. Now we're going to be using the new 3010 colour display that we've upgraded recently, but the battery backup will work for this panel as well. And on the back here you can see that we've got a little uh, connection up here called JP3, and this is where we would connect our battery backup in there. Now whilst we're looking at the back of this panel, let's just take a moment and talk about the polarity and which way around the cables will go. The red cable is on the right hand side, the black cable is on the left hand side. So what that means is positive is to the right and negative is to the left. Now something else that I always do as well, because I'm quite paranoid about these things, I always add some heat shrink onto the cable as well. And this means that when I finish soldering up the terminals, it makes for a very neat job as well. So all I'm going to do is twist the cables around so they're nice and tight, nice and neat, like so. So the first thing I need to do, like all good practice, is tin the cable. You know there is something quite soothing about soldering, I don't know what it is, but I find it quite soothing. So let's tin the terminal there. Like 
so. And we're just going to put our cable alongside. That's soldered in nicely. Trim this one down as well. I hope you can see this. I'm a bit fingers and thumbs today, I'm afraid. There we go. Just make sure we've got them around the right way. We have indeed. It makes a good change. And we're just going to put our heat shrink over our terminals, like so. And the beautiful thing, because we're using a gas soldering iron, you'll notice that we've got a heat vent at the side here. So we can just literally push that alongside, and the heat shrink will now close up. And there we go, that is our battery backup now ready to install. So the only thing I want to do now is just put a bit of tape across the bottom of it. So this is number plate tape, which I'm using here. So it will hold anything to anything really. Okay, that's good. Let's install our batteries into it as well. There we go. There we go, we're ready to go. So let's just measure the voltage, make sure that we do have indeed three volts coming out of this. There we go, 3.2 volts, that's good enough. Good. Right, so as per last time, what we need to do is remove the front cover off of the panel. And I'm using a trim tool for this. Find it incredibly useful to use these things because they never mark or destroy any of the cabinets. That just exposes the four screws which I'm going to undo now. So in this uh, diagram here in the back of the panel we can see that the battery backup which is a three volts DC connects to uh, connection H uh, which is the third connection along from the right hand side. Now, helpfully, the window switch is right next to it, which has a little jumper on it to say that the window is always closed. So what we just need to do is look at this connection here, and we can see we've got B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and you can see, you can see here it's that third one along like so. And again, what we did is we just paid attention to the diagram on the back of the um, control panel and indeed it says that we've got the polarity around the right way so what we're going to do is we're just going to add the battery backup into it like so very straightforward and we're going to tape the battery in place back here but just for a quick moment I'm just going to check that everything is behaving as it should so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch the panel on from the master switch at the top there and it's coming up with all weird error messages which soon disappear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the time. And let's just set it to something interesting. Not that it's particularly valid right now. So let's say it's 5.40 uh, on a Wednesday morning. Okay, to split it on the front panel, hit OK. Let's return back to the front panel. So there we go, we've got our timers Wednesday 5.40 a.m. Now, usually what will happen is if I hit the off switch up here with the master switch off, what will happen is the panel will go dark and it will lose all the settings. So let's switch it off. So the caravan is now off from the master switch up here. Switch it back on and voila, we still have our saved date and time from last time. Fantastic. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fix the battery in place at the back there, put the cover back on, and that's another great upgrade complete. And there we go guys, a very simple upgrade for you to do on your Audi control panel if you haven't already got the battery back up. 
Um, from what I can see, they're not actually fitted as standard, it's an accessory and an upgrade that you can perform yourself. So give it a go. Um, you can obviously purchase the battery backup compartment directly from Alder, but it's a few pounds, it's quite expensive to be honest with you, and uh, for just a small outlay, you can make one yourself that does exactly the same job. So give it a go, and uh, yeah, I hope it's been of use for you today. Any questions, feel free to ask down below, and I'll see you next time. Take care now, bye-bye.